Reducing input lag with DuckStation is a question I get all the time. So this is gonna be a super quick and to the point guide on how to test your input lag and then reduce it accordingly with no fuss. So you need to set up a hotkey that will advance you one frame and one frame only. So come up to settings in the top left hand corner and come down to hotkeys. And the one that we're looking for is frame step. I've mapped this to T, but you can map it to whatever you want. Then just hit close and go back to the game. So we're gonna test where your input lag is currently at by pressing the jump button and seeing how many frames it takes to get to the first frame of the jump animation. So you wanna press that frame step hotkey that you just created, which will pause the game. Now you wanna pick up your controller and press and hold the jump button. Now each time you press that hotkey, one frame will advance whilst receiving an input. So with that button held, I'm gonna see how many times I need to press this hotkey. So one, two, three, four, five, that's five frames before he starts to jump, which to be honest, isn't too bad. But the original PlayStation had an input lag between two and three frames. And for precise input games, it is nice to target that. So now you know where your input lag is currently at and where it needs to be. And if you need to change it, come up to settings in the top left hand corner and open up the emulation options. Now this reduce input latency option up here didn't actually work for me and that's because I've got a sneaky suspicion it's only for G-Sync and FreeSync monitors only. So instead we're going to use this run ahead option down here. But do keep in mind this is very demanding. Now for me personally three frames of input lag is just fine which means I need to remove two. And I already know ahead of time that to do that for my hardware, I need to set this run ahead to three frames. But I did test each one to get to that point because the worst thing you can do with this is go beyond what you need. And keep in mind where you need to set this is gonna vary depending on your hardware and the game itself. So we're gonna set this to three frames, go back to the game, hit that hotkey that we created earlier on to pause the game, then press and hold the jump button and count how many hotkey presses it takes. So one, two, three, and there you go. That's how to reduce your input lag with no fuss. Now with emulation, in my opinion, how these games control is more important than how they look, which is why I'm gonna be covering how to remove input latency with a bunch of other emulators. And if you wanna keep up to date with that, you know what to do. And if this video has actually helped you out, slam it a like. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.